What's up, YouTube? We're back with another video. Today, we got a beautiful dually for you. 2021 Ford F450 Limited. This is like the most expensive truck you could possibly buy from Ford, honestly. In case you guys are wondering, you know, where can I get any of this sort of stuff done? Or what do I need to do in order to get the same exact thing done to my truck? Or I want this, I want that. Go to our website, precisionretrofits.com. You can contact, contact us through that, or you can text or email or call or whatever it may be, and we'll respond to you, uh, get your prices on whatever you're looking for. Uh, if you wanna bring in your whole truck, if you're somewhat local to us, we can do that as well. Uh, but yeah, if, you have any, if you're ever thinking like, man, I want that same exact thing on my truck, we can always do it for you. You can see from the front here, we kinda went with a white, and this color is the star white color that Ford offers. And it's it's kind of a cool color. It's got it's the pearl white, but it has a almost like a blue kind of flake in it as well. On the headlights here, we swapped out this middle amber reflector for a, a clear one, and it, the light turns to white then. So instead of it lighting up amber, it now lights up white, and it kind of matches the DRLs on the headlights. To the grill, what we did this is a, a 450 grill, and it's all the new 2020 grills are different depending on the model and. Uh, trim level that you get. So this one is the 451. It's the high flow grill or whatever they put on these. But it's got all these bars. We left all those chrome. And what we did is we came in, we painted the backing of the grill here. You can see. So originally that comes uh, like a textured ish black. And so we went ahead and painted it to match the truck here and then left the chrome. Because customer kind of wants like a chrome star white feature, like I said. So we did that, and then again, with the uh, emblem, we did the black outer ring, white, and then the blue pieces, we also did white and just left the chrome. So again, it kinda, it, it looks like a lot of chrome. You know, you could, if you didn't want as much chrome, you could paint a couple of these pieces white or whatever. But if you're going with kind of a chrome white scheme, I think this is the way to go on these grills. And then the bumper, we went ahead and, so all these, these pieces right here and the bottom valence, air dam, whatever people call it, and the fog light brackets, or fog light uh, pockets right there. Those are all the textured black as well. So we took those, we smoothed them, and we uh, painted them white also to match. What do you want? I just throw it in the paint. Jared's not doing anything again. You what do you want me to do? I don't know. What do you want, what do you want me to give you to do? I, there's nothing to do right now. Maybe you're wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses right now. These mirror lights are extremely bright. And they're extremely blinding. Also, let me show you the blinker function on them. Because these are switchbacks, which mean they're white now for the running light. And then when I kick the blinker on, they'll switch to amber. Case in point. And then back to white. So, again, they're extremely bright. They probably don't look that bright on camera. But if you've ever seen them in person, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the mirrors, uh, we smoothed as well, painted fully white. We got rid of pretty much the entire black texture on the entire truck. So, mirrors were obviously are a big part of that. Took those, smoothed them all down, painted them to match the truck. We left the chrome on the inside of the mirror light, just chrome. Uh, I just installed the strips so we kind of get that white and chrome feature still. Uh, the mirror caps were already white, they come white, or they come body matched on the limiteds. If you get a platinum, they'll come chrome. Um, so it's up to you if you want to leave them chrome or white, but these ones we just left white and then painted the rest of the mirror to match. As for the side badges, the, uh, we left kind of the brushed texture look, the, the brush look on these side badges kind of was what give the limited, that limited look. So we decided to leave that and then leave the 450, the chrome as well, and then just got rid of all the black texture plastic to kind of the match. You probably missed the cab lights on the top, but what we did is we actually replaced them with the recon ones because we needed that white light and the factory ones, they do come clear, but they uh, light up amber. So we took the recon ones and painted those to kind of to match. The only light that we didn't change, and mainly because nobody necessarily makes any, um, but hopefully here soon we can 
figure something out for this fender one. Um, just so you guys kind of see it. Because I'm sure you're wondering, well, why is that the only amber light on the truck? Well, we're working on it, okay? Jeez. Nobody out there at Recon doesn't make any of them. Um, and I think the biggest reason why is because it's technically illegal to kind of have that as a white light. So um, the guy did want it all to be white though. So we're gonna work on that and try to see if we can find one. These, they always look super clean on these ones in my opinion. When we do the painted borders with the smoke look, it just kind of sets it off. So we decided to smoke the lights, the tail lights and the third brake light on these just because if you left them red, it just doesn't look as good, honestly, in my opinion. So we smoked these, and obviously, you can still see the running light and the brake light as clear as possible. You can definitely still see it light up, um, but you don't see any of that red when it's off. So as for the tailgate, we again, we just matched the front emblem with the rear, left the chrome on it, and then painted the blue, the white. The tailgate handle, again, these come black textured from the factory, uh, and they, they have the brushed tailgate handle right here. We left the brush tailgate handle right here and then we painted the all black texture white. Hope you guys liked the video. Let us know what you guys think. I think it came out pretty, pretty decent. Uh, white and chrome to me it's just a nice classy look so let us know what you guys think in the comments make sure to like and subscribe and again if you have any questions about prices you want to get your stuff done hit us up we'll get it done for you and get you taken care of again thanks for watching we'll see you next time